Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tomeister and I'm really excited to be collaborating once again with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial on how to deal with death waves. If you've spent any amount of time playing City Skylines, you may have experienced a death wave. To understand how to manage and deal with a death wave, you must first understand what exactly it is and how it's caused. Death waves may seem like they come out of nowhere for no reason, so this tutorial is going to explain to you what can go on in the background that you may not notice right away that can lead up to a very devastating death wave in your city. A death wave happens when you zone too much residential all at once, which leads to a boom of population moving into the city, who then go on to live happy lives, they grow old, and they all die at once. All citizens in city skylines have the exact same lifespan, which is about 3 years in game time. Now let's say you have 10,000 people that move into your city at once. You need to prepare that in 3 years in-game time, all those 10,000 people are going to pass away at exactly the same time. Now in my opinion, the most important thing to completely avoiding death waves altogether is to zone very slowly. Let your city grow organically, or if you do have a large residential demand, spread your residential growth into different areas of your city. Don't grow an entire neighborhood at the same time. Plop down little lots of residential zoning all over town and expand your city slowly. This will dramatically reduce your chances of getting a death wave and if they do occur there will be a lot less invasive as well. Now I'm going to show you how to deal with a death wave should it ever happen in your city even after you followed these guidelines. What happens in the background of a death wave is your crematoriums and cemeteries are not able to compensate for the amount of citizens dying in your city. They're going to be completely backed up and there won't be enough hearses available to pick up all the dead citizens. So you're going to be left with piles and piles of dead citizens all over your city. Now this will lead up to your buildings falling into disrepair due to there being no more citizens alive in them. Your city could then potentially fall into economic collapse. Basically every aspect of your city is going to hurt one way or another when a death wave occurs. Now there are many things you can do to prepare for these types of death waves. One important thing to do is to check your health and death demographics panel. Make sure that you have enough cemeteries and crematoriums in the event that these large death waves can arise. Always be sure that you have enough room in your cemeteries to store all of those people. Also be sure to check your population age demographics panel as often as you can. This can be a really great tool for predicting incoming death waves. A very good indicator that a death wave may occur is if you have a high percentage of seniors in your city. Anything above 20% seniors is quite high which means you might want to prepare for a death wave in that case. In conclusion, follow these steps and it'll greatly reduce your chances of getting a death wave and even avoiding one altogether. I really hope this tutorial was useful for anybody suffering from really devastating death waves. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for some upcoming tutorials from your favorite City Skylines creators.